<gasps> Yo, that freaking hurts like a. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Today we are trying out some more KKW Beauty products. I did pick up a few of the little holiday sets that we're going to be trying out and swatching today. And if you guys missed my last video, I did go over the KKW Beauty So Fire collection, which is what I have on my eyes right now. Still trying it out, but I did want to use the So Fire collection while reviewing the other stuff. So getting into this, I did try out the mascara yesterday, but today I wanted to try it out with a primer. The mascara does say that it's new on the Ulta website, but I don't know if it's just new to Ulta or new in general. Still kind of up in the air about that one. And the mascara is $18. And then this is not part of the holiday set, but again, like I said, I haven't tried a lot of KK Beauty. The only thing I've tried is the So Fire collection. So I did want to pick up. This is the cream contour and highlight set. On Ulta's website, it does say that this is new. Same thing with the mascara. I don't know what kind of new it is, but I've never tried these before. And I know a lot of people talk about them and there's a lot of reviews on this. So I did want to try this out. I got it in the fair shade and this was $32 for the both of them and then this is part of the holiday set so this is the KK Beauty duo set with a lipstick and a highlighter and this is $29 and then this is a another holiday set this is the KK Beauty lipstick and gloss trio this is $39 it comes with two lipsticks and a lip gloss so let's get in to everything before I try out everything I did swatch out the two holiday sets so we're gonna go over that so I'm gonna go over the lipstick and gloss trio first so there's two lipsticks and a lip gloss the first lipstick is 90 style and then there's nude three and the lip gloss is in the shade rose gold and from what i can tell the lip glosses the lip gloss in this set is full size like the other ones and then i'm pretty sure the lipsticks are full size as well it comes with a bit of product in them and then this is the kk beauty duo set so it comes with a lipstick and a highlighter the lipstick is in the shade enchanting and the highlighter is tempting. The lipstick did stain on my arms. That one's gonna be the last one that I swatch. So that is everything that I swatched for this video. So I already did my foundation and some of my makeup. The foundation that I chose was the Fenty Hydrating Foundation. I am having hormonal breakouts right now. So I wanted something that was gonna be light coverage and easy to blend with the stick. So from what I understand, there is a light, ooh, these are hard to open. There's a light one side. I'm just gonna swatch it. Okay, that looks fair enough for me. And then there's another, oh, these are hard to open. Light two side, which seems like a shimmer yellow highlighter, which doesn't really make any sense because this is a fair set. And I feel like if you are fair my t my hand is a lot more tan than my face but to be honest i wouldn't really pair this highlighter with someone that's fair but let me see how this blends out that's a highlighting stick and then the same thing with the contour there's a fair shade one that looks decent pretty warm they smell kind of weird too there's a fair one and then there's a light one okay so this one's a bit deeper so this one I would use for more like bronzing and this one more like contouring. I think I'm gonna go in, I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try out the first fair one, which is this shade right here. And I don't really know how these blend, but they seem like they're pretty creamy from swatching on my hand. So I'm gonna hit all the spots that I would normally bronze with like a powder with this one these smell like crayons like straight up crayons let me know down below do you say crayons or do you say crayons 
because I definitely do not say crayons. All right, I'm gonna just dabble it on the top, like middle of my face or like cheeks because I don't want it up in my highlight spot, so I don't want it in the contour. And now I'm gonna take the deeper one and I'm gonna put it right in the spot where I contour. I don't know how much to use yet. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a beauty blender. They seem pretty creamy to use with a beauty blender. Yeah, they blend out pretty easily with a beauty blender. I think I'm just gonna stick with this. It does seem like it's pretty buildable too. I'll just have to see how these are because I personally like the Fenty matchsticks a lot. They work pretty well with my skin. So far they blend out pretty well. The one thing that I like about the Fenty matchsticks is that they have a matte uh, finish to them. I don't really know how I feel about them. It's definitely pretty natural on me. I don't know if I would go through and use these contour sticks every time that I wanted to highlight and contour my face. I pretty much do the same thing with powder, but it does look more natural on the skin. I don't know, you guys let me know. <laughs> All right, now let's try out the highlight. So I'm gonna do the light stick and I guess we're highlighting. So I'm gonna highlight my forehead, my nose. I don't really like to hi highlight the tip of my nose for some reason. I guess I'm gonna highlight under my eyes, I guess. Use it as a concealer today. I do not like the smell of these at all. I don't know why. They just like reek of crayon. Yeah, this blends out pretty much the same as the contour sticks, but it still doesn't really add like a lot of the dimension that I really look for. Like the contour stick that I use in the Fenty one is amber and I really love how that one's like a really interesting cool toned color to it. Kind of hard to blend underneath my eyes. Blend this out and then I'm gonna grab a brush. Oh yeah. Under my eyes I definitely prefer more of a brush. Mm, I don't really know how I feel about those. They're kind of just like meh. I don't like the texture that it leaves underneath my eyes and in between my forehead. And it did leave a little bit of texture on my nose. I don't really like that texture that it's leaving. I don't know if maybe it's just that those are dry spots on my face or if that's just how it blends out. But other than the smell, the texture that it's leaving, I'm not that impressed with them. All right, so now that we got the concealer blended out, I'm gonna put the highlighter only on one side of my cheek just to see what it looks like because I do have a powder highlight that I would like to try out. Oh, that is just really yellow, isn't it? That is really yellow. It honestly doesn't leave any shimmer to it. It just looks like more stuff on my face. Whatever, we're gonna move on past these sticks because I don't really know how I feel about them, but I'm gonna finish my eyeshadow. I'm gonna try out the mascara and we're gonna get into the other products. All right, so I just primed my eyelashes with the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Primer and I'm gonna see if maybe this will help the mascara a little bit more to where it's not gonna get that like spidery lash effect that it did yesterday. We'll see here. It made it worse actually. Tell me why I whacked myself in the face with the mascara wand. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this mascara. I do really like how black this mascara is, but I don't like the brush. The more I try to use it, the more it starts to pinch a lot of my hairs, my eyelashes together and gives it more of that like spidery look to them. So definitely not a fan on that whatsoever. But I do wanna try out the lipsticks. So I'm gonna dip into the KK Beauty Lipstick and Gloss Trio. I'm gonna try out the lipsticks and then put the gloss over them and then the gloss by itself. So the first one is 90s style. So this one is definitely a matte formula. I do not like the way that it makes my lips look. My lips look really wrinkly and weird. Ew. <laughs> mm. 
not my favorite lipstick formula. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's see if the gloss can help. This is the gloss in rose gold. I don't wanna get a lot of the lipstick on the wand. So the gloss definitely helped, but I'm still not the biggest fan of the way it makes my lips look. I don't know, it could be, I don't really know what it is. I do like the color of it, like a nice kind of soft peachy nude, but I don't like the formula. It's not uncomfortable, I just don't like the way that it makes my lips look. All right, the next one is called Nude 3. This one's definitely a lot creamier. So I do like the color of this one as well. It definitely makes my lips look a lot better. Doesn't have a weird like liney old lady lip look to it. I mean, I don't really think I have any nude lipsticks that are this shade. I definitely like Nude 3 more than 90 style. 100% cream lipsticks are the way to go. Let's see what the lip gloss looks like over top of this one. It didn't really change it that much. It just made it a little bit shinier and that's about it. Though I will say, I feel like both of the lipsticks with the lip glosses over kind of feel like they could bleed on me. So I don't know how they would be over long term. Honestly, if I were to like wear this lipstick and pair with the lip gloss, I would probably wear this lipstick until it was all dried up on my lips and then I'd touch it up with the lip gloss and not the lipstick. I wouldn't really do both of them right off the bat. All right, let's do the lip gloss by itself. The lip gloss by itself is a nice, just everyday nude lip gloss. Doesn't have a lot of color to it. It's kind of hard to see the glitters in the lipstick or the lip gloss. It does have a bit of like a glitterness to it in the tube, but I don't really notice it a lot on my lips. Meh, it's just meh. All right, I'm gonna keep the lip gloss on for a little bit and we're gonna get into the duo set with the highlighter and the other lipstick. I do wanna get into the highlighter is in the shade. Why is all this stuff so hard for me to open? Yo, yo, that freaking hurts like a... <sighs> oh my gosh, I couldn't open this stupid thing and it freaking cut my fingers. Ah, <sighs> wonderful. I got like a paper cut on my finger from this packaging. That already makes me like it more. Mm. But this is what the highlighter looks like. It's a very just everyday highlighter. Let's get my highlighting brush and put it on this side. Oh yeah, it definitely looks a lot better on your face than it does in the pan. It almost has the same coloring as the, what is it called? The Amrezy highlighter from Anastasia on me. Just, it's just a little bit of an off color for my skin tone. I do like the way that the like reflect is. Mm. As I'm blending it on this side, it's kind of taken off the foundation right here from that cream highlighter. I don't know if you can see that. All right, time to take this lip gloss off. So this is the one that stained my arm. It's in the shade Enchanting. Mm -hmm. First off, I'm not a big fan of the color of this. I don't really like colors like this. I think these look really pretty on deeper skin tones, but on my skin tone, I don't really like lipsticks that are this color for some reason. I do like the formula of the cream lipsticks a lot better than that matte lipstick. Highlighter, I do like, but it's a little bit too yellow for my skin tone. It may not be picking up on camera, but I can see it in my mirror but I know my lighting is really bright, so it may just look like a really blinding highlight, but it's definitely really yellow on me. Lipstick, even without like the eye makeup, I'm just not a fan of this color. So I don't really know how I feel about this set. Honestly, if I had to choose between two, it'd probably be the lipsticks and the lip gloss set, because I do like more of those. I don't really like the highlighter and the lipstick that much. It reminds me of the Amrezy. I hate the packaging. Slice my finger open. I'm not the biggest fan on that. Mascara gives me spidery lashes. And the contour sticks. I do like the contour sticks, though I like the Fenty ones a bit more. The highlighter sticks, I don't like the texture that it leaves 
on my skin. Mm, I don't know, it's been really interesting trying out KKW Beauty. I've been wanting to try them out for a little bit, but nothing ever really interests me. So when I went to go pick up this So Fire collection, I decided to pick up some other things as well. I'm just very meh on everything. I like all the formulas. I just think that the coloring is a bit off. The only formula that I really don't like is the highlighting stick. I don't like the texture that it leaves on my skin. I don't like the formula of the matte lipstick. It's not that it's the worst. It could be just that color that it looks like that on me, but I definitely like the cream lipsticks a lot more. Everything else, I like it. I just always have an issue with the coloring of everything, which is why I haven't bought any KK Beauty stuff before because it just kind of seems like meh and I don't really need it kind of thing. But if you guys would like me to try out any other brands that I haven't tried out on my channel yet, let me know in the comments because I'm in the mood for trying out some new brands and I want to know if there's any brands that you guys are interested in seeing and I can pick up a few things and kind of do the same kind of video where I try out a little bit of everything and see how I like the formula, the packaging, colors, all of that stuff. So definitely don't forget to leave that down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see my review on the So Fire collection, I'll have the video right over here for you guys. And then this video will be suggested to you by YouTube. And my face will be right here where you can click on it and subscribe to my channel.